Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is a Kevin's Shop video. This is my drill press, and uh, I've made a couple upgrades on it that I've shown in another video of a fast uh, speed change lever and a quick uh, on-off knob. But I'm thinking about using this uh, to do some lightweight milling. So I came up with a, a, an adapter for this uh, mechanism so that I could have a way to micro-feed this head into a, a workpiece. These are the parts that I made uh, for this uh, milling attachment for the drill press. Uh, this is a bracket that will mount on the front of the uh, drill press. And what I did is I uh, lined it with some uh, rubber, actually a piece of inner tube, just to protect the front of the drill press. And this will clamp on with three um, uh, quarter 28 Allen screws. This is a little uh, arm that I will use. I will replace one of my handles on the uh, drill press that feeds the head and uh, install this. This is a worm shaft or just a threaded shaft with a hand wheel on it and uh, we'll use that to move this arm back and forth. And this is just a trunnion, uh, it's just a nut welded onto some discs with a uh, stud coming out of it and these pieces make up my little uh, milling feed attachment. So go ahead and install this bracket. And this is our uh, shaft with the hand wheel that feeds our uh, headstock. This just has a little a collar that goes on there. Okay, I put some paper up here so you can see this better because we have black on black. But uh, uh, what I've done is I've threaded this trunnion onto my shaft. And then uh, what I do is I remove this handle and then I can replace it with this uh, arm that I made. And these two kind of go together here. Then I have a uh, just a fender washer, a spring to put some tension on that, and a nut. So I've got everything tightened up, and you can see now that this uh, screw moves that arm back and forth. And what I used was a this is a half inch twenty thread, so it's a fine pitch thread. So I have a lot of precision. Uh, with the movement of my uh, headstock here. So I needed a way to kind of keep track of how much I'm moving uh, this head up and down. And I wanted to use a, a, a dial indicator. Uh, I've got this dial indicator uh, that I use for different projects. But I wanted to come up with an easy way to mount it to this uh, mounting plate. So I thought I would use a magnet. So what I did is I took a, just a round magnet and I cut out a chunk of steel on it with a slot in it and then a set screw on the side and that way I can uh, mount this uh, dial indicator uh, to the front of my um, uh, milling jig. I just set that up and then this just mounts magnetically right to the front of my uh, drill press. So I needed a way to actuate this um, dial indicator. So I made this little bracket assembly. And what it does is it just uh, slides on here and then clamps on um, to this uh, bearing here.
And now I have a precise way to keep track of the uh, movement of my milling head. I wanted to show you this milling attachment in use. So what I've done is I've installed a quarter inch end mill here into the chuck of the drill press. And I've got my cross slide vise set up. Uh, this vise I purchased and had to kind of tune up and make it work a little better. And I made a video about that. Anyway, I'm, I've got a set up. Uh, this is a set for the level of the um, piece of aluminum here that I'm gonna mill. And so I'm gonna take a 40,000 swath out of this uh, piece of aluminum to show you this in, uh, in use. So anyway, I'll adjust this down. I'm gonna run my uh, end mill down about 40 thousands here. Okay, and then we'll uh, run that through there and show you this in operation.